Hey, uh, Cal here at FTI. Uh, we're here today to uh, do a project bike uh, for Dirt Bike Magazine. Uh, we have an event coming up here in a few weeks and we're gonna make some changes to this bike. And we have Steve Johnson here from CV Products. Uh, he's gonna explain a little bit of what we're doing and what kind of products we're gonna put on this bike. Uh, Steve? Yeah, we're uh, really excited about the project we're gonna be doing in conjunction with Dirt Bike Magazine and Adam Booth. Uh, we're going to be doing some cool stuff to the, to the motorcycle to make it uh, user-friendly for Adam, who's a little vertically challenged. So Cal's got some tricks up his sleeve for that coming. Uh, CV Products is the, the manufacturer of the Exeldyne valve train. Actually, that's one of our uh, sister companies, along with CV4 and Fuel Cool. So those are some of our house brands that will be utilized in the build. Uh, the, the, the project of the bike is really it's a 2007 Honda CRF 250X model. And we're going to kind of trick it out a little bit, give it a little bit more boost and uh, you know, freshen the motor up. We've got some of our new stainless steel X2 valves we're gonna be putting in the cylinder head, doing some fill testing with that. We've got a, uh, a Wiseco Big Bore kit. It's a relatively new product. They're actually using a steel-lined nickel plated cylinder. So using that steel sleeve, they can get a real thin wall and still maintain the strength and get the, the cylinder a lot bigger than some of the aftermarket aluminum cylinders that they've got out there. Uh, in conjunction with one of their skirt-coated pistons, their torque or cam, some of their clutch components, and uh, some other Wiseco goodies we're going to have on there, clutch cover and so forth. We'll be utilizing the uh, recluse system that's already in the bike. So it's got the clutch. You can feather it if you need to. Uh, Cal might be able to shed a little light on what brand or model that is that they have in there that you can tickle it if you need to to get over that log. Uh, we'll be utilizing Dunlop tires on the build. So we'll have a trials tear in the back that really works well at uh, Crow Canyon, which is where we're going to be testing the bike at for our eighth annual turkey run, which we get over 12, 1,300 riders for that event. It's actually KTM's largest demo ride in the United States for off-road. So uh, we'll have, hopefully we'll have a good turnout for that. Uh, we're going to be utilizing the Leo Vince stainless steel exhaust. It's very lightweight, very durable. It's got a little thicker wall in it on the header pipe, so it's re very resistant to denning. Uh, the silencer meets you know, all your force regulations with spark arrestor and decibel and things like that. In the Renthal group, we're going to be utilizing their Honda High Bend bars, their uh, chain wheels and sprocket combination. We'll be using the standard replacement braking rotors and pads, front and rear. The uh, Syker hand guards, their Pro Bend, works really well in clearing all the levers and so forth. So we're going to be putting uh, new grips and, and uh, hand guards on for that. UFO plastic on the side panels and rear fender and airbox covers. We'll actually be using a Syker front, front fender to get a little more air over the radiator. With this bigger motor, we're going to want a little bit more air in there. We'll be using a hot rods crankshaft, and it's actually the R crank, the 250R crank. And it's got a different shaft on the mag side of the crankshaft. So we're going to be utilizing a Trail Tech uh, mag and rotor, a heavier rotor, and their lighting system with their HID lighting system on this bike. And by doing that, it enables us to use the one and a half millimeter stroker crank from Hot Rods. So in conjunction with the Wiseco Big Bore kit and the stroker crank, we can get a lot bigger motor out of this thing and really put some torque into it. We'll have our CV4 hose kit on there, which actually improves the, the water flow and cooling a little bit. One of our higher pressure radiator caps to increase the pressure that the bike will withstand in the woods to minimize the blow off there. Also one of our air filter kits that eliminates the screen in the air filter to improve the airflow, which utilizes the no toy oil, which is user friendly and totally biodegradable and all that good stuff. So we're, we're going green in that aspect. Also one of the new project products that's going to be in the bike is one of our new lithium ferrous batteries, which is also a green product, totally recyclable. It weighs only 11 ounces, where the stock battery is close to four, four to five pounds in this bike. So we're taking three to four pounds of weight out of the bike, higher cranking amps, and actually now we've got some room for a tool kit or an extra tube or whatever we want to shove into that, into that area in the, in the battery box to uh, take up that space. So those are, those are some of the major components that we're going to be changing on the bike to make it really a good torque trail monster that uh, will just about climb anything. So I'll let Cal talk about what he's going to be doing to the suspension and uh, his engine build and some of the uh, expertise that Cal has. Well, really, I mean, it's going to be pretty simple. We do a lot of these for the, uh, the shorter riders. You know, we'll, we'll do lowering kits for shorter guys in the woods. It's really hard to to get your foot down when you need it to and, and to crank the bike it's really hard. Even on an a e-start bike, sometimes you get in a situation you need to get, to get your foot down and you just can't. So, uh, Also we do a lot of these lowering kits for women. We've done uh, uh, lowering kits for several gals in the local Hair Scramble Association where they went from really struggling to run with the guys in the series. Next thing you know you lower their bike two inches and they're beating the guys. So uh, we make that in-house. It's actually uh, not a special link or anything like that. We retain the stock springs in the suspension so that if they ever want to sell the bike and change the back, bike back over, it could be done so without spending a bunch of money to do that. Um, and then just putting the motor together. You know, we're going to probably uh, 
tidy up the engine compartment a little bit and get rid of some unnecessary components on it that are just added weight and uh, we don't need them in Ohio. Uh, some of the smog control features I think we'll probably ditch. But uh, looking forward to the build. It ought to be a fun little project and uh, we'll uh, take some video of it and let you see what we're doing.